What's up guys, it's Dono. This week I'm going to be talking about wordplay. I see a lot of really bad, really ugly wordplay or stuff that's not even wordplay and then people call it wordplay. So I know it's a really complex issue, but I'm going to try my best to break it down as simple as possible so that you guys can understand what wordplay is and how to use it in your verse. Wordplay is basically combining or using words in a way that you can get a phrase that has two meanings or you can get double meanings going on. The easiest way to do wordplay is with just straight double meanings. Double meanings are when you use a word or a phrase that could be used in two different ways. So the easiest way to show you guys this is to give an example. For my example I've got, you couldn't run this town if you were jogging around the city. So if you look at that, the played on phrase is run this town. One of the meanings is to be in power and control the place. The other meaning is to literally run the town or run through the town. On the other hand, this is not wordplay. I run this city like the mayor. That's just a comparison. You're using run this city in only one context. There's no play on words. It's it. It's just a comparison. It's a simile. It's not wordplay. You're not using any double meaning. So you guys are probably wondering what's a good technique for making wordplay. The best strategy I know for making lines using wordplay is to start with a word or a phrase that you know has multiple meanings or can be interpreted multiple ways. So idioms and slang are a great place to start. And if you don't know what idioms are, they're just sayings or phrases. For my example, I've got dig up dirt. Dig up dirt can either mean like literally dig up dirt out of the ground with a shovel or the slang kind of version is to try and find embarrassing information about someone. So once you have both of the meanings that you're going to use, you need to find a way to kind of relate the two. So for my example, a subtle version of wordplay would be, I'm sick of personal attacks, I can't mask it. Seems everyone is digging up dirt from my casket. So if you look at that and break it down, um, there's the first line that's talking about personal attacks, right? And that, that relates to digging up dirt. And then it's also the literal meaning of digging up dirt because I talk about digging up dirt for my casket. So when you think about it, it makes sense both ways and this is essential for good wordplay so for more of like a battle example I've got I made space for your casket digging up dirt for personals the only time you've been a stand-up guy is at urinals so if you look at that there's two there's two sets of wordplay in there again I'm using digging up dirt this time it's a lot more in your face kind of thing like I made space for your casket digging up dirt that makes sense and then digging up dirt for personals, that makes sense. That's how, you know, it's kind of weak, but it still works as some wordplay. And then the second line is, the only time you've been a stand-up guy is at urinals. So the first meaning for that would be, obviously, like, you stand up to go at a urinal. But then I'm saying the only time you've ever been a stand-up guy, which is also meaning, like, a good guy, is at urinals. So that's another example of wordplay. It's a little bit trickier, but that's that's more more of how it would go in an actual verse you know that's more of a battle style too so a couple last things to remember are don't force your wordplay contrived forced wordplay sounds so bad and people pick up on it really easily it's something that you can't like if you do it bad people are going to notice and kind of cringe like eh, that didn't make any sense so the best way to get around this is to kind of proof it through other people either read it out loud to yourself think about like huh if i heard this would it sound you know would that make sense or you can read it out loud to somebody else and have them, you know, see if it makes sense to them or if they're just like, oh, I, don't, I don't think that really clicks. The only time I could see you using forced wordplay is if you're trying to do some type of comedic effect, you're making fun of it, something like that. Otherwise, if you're being serious, don't force your wordplay. It sounds terrible. Next time, I'm going to be going over another technique for wordplay called word fission or word fusion. They're pretty much the same thing. Also, don't forget to check out my other channel, The Rhyme Sanctuary, where I host competitions for promotion. Um, basically, there's beats over there. You just spit over it and submit it. And if you win, I'll try my best to promote it and get it out there. Um, if it grows and gets bigger, I'll start having prizes and whatnot. So I'll give you the link to that. You can go ahead and check it out. And that's all I've got for this time. So see ya. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the videos. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down in the comment box and I'll get to them as quick as possible. See you guys.